Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from RAID 6 array based on Synology NAS DS2422+. In today's video, we will explore how to configure backup schedule for important data, how to recover accidental removed files from the recycle bin, and how to retrieve files if the RAID is degraded, completely destroyed, or if the NAS device is out of order. We will also have a closer look at fine details of configuration and recovery with the latest firmware version DSM 7.1. Synology is a well-known manufacturer of NAS storage systems. Typically, such devices as Synology Disk Station and Rack Station NAS are easy to use and can be found in various RAID configurations, including RAID 0, RAID 1, 5, 6, and RAID 10. They also support their own storage configurations SHR and SHR2. In the work of any network-attached storage, there are maybe certain issues that could result in loss of data. Quite often, users may accidentally remove important files, or there can be various problems that block access to data or cause data loss. Possible scenarios also include hardware breakdowns, run configuration, firmware issues, and so on. If you lose access to files, the first rule is to stay calm and not to panic. Any wrong action at this stage often leads to losing all the information. As in the case with any NAS, recovering data is never easy. To restore accidentally removed information or retrieve files from an inoperable NAS, you need a specialized software tool. For starters, let's explore how to create a RAID and how to change its level on this specific network storage device. The process of building it will help you understand the working principle behind RAID, and it will make the recovery process easier. When new hard disks are connected to NAS, you should install the operating system and run initial configuration. After installation and startup, the operating system will suggest configuring the settings for a new storage pool. You should choose the RAID level, Select the disks to include into the new array. The capacity of the new storage. And the file system. Check all the settings and click Apply to confirm them. After that, the process of building and optimizing the array begins. When it's over, you will get a new volume with the size you have set. To change the RAID level, you need to remove the existing volume. As a result, all data will be erased from the disks, because a disk array cannot be rebuilt without formatting its hard disks. To do it, open the menu, Storage Manager, storage pool. On the right, click on the three dots button and choose Remove, and then confirm the action. This will delete both the pool and the storage volume, as well as all files from the hard disks. After that, click Create and start to create a new array. Now choose the RAID level. Click Next. Select the hard disks, the volume size, and the file system. Then click Next and Apply. As a result, you'll get a new volume. Now you can create a shared folder, configure access permissions, and add your data. If you accidentally deleted important data from the shared folder, you can recover it from the recycle bin. By default, the recycle bin option is activated when you create a new shared folder. It will help you restore accidentally deleted files without using any additional software. To see if this option is enabled, open Control Panel, Shared Folder, Select the folder from which the files were deleted and click on the Edit button. 
Make sure that the box next to Enable Recycle Bin option is checked. To restore your files from the folder, open File Station and browse to the folder from which important files were removed. After that, open the Recycle subfolder, find the items that were deleted, right-click on a specific file or folder and choose Restore and Overwrite. And all the files will be restored to their previous locations. If the Recycle Bin option is disabled for this shared folder, try recovering the deleted data from a backup. By default, the Backup tool is not installed. If you have already installed and configured the backup utility, you can use it for recovery. In the Package Center, you can find lots of backup apps. I'll show you how to configure backup and restore deleted files with the tool called Hyper Backup. This utility lets you backup various types of data on Synology NAS, such as system configurations, apps, packages, and shared folders, and do it either on schedule or manually. Data backups are stored in their own database, which can be easily viewed, restored, or downloaded. With Hyper Backup, you can recover package settings and data as of some previous date. If you have already configured backup, you can restore the required data from a backup file. To do it, go to the DSM menu and run Hyper Backup. In the Programs window, click Restore, select data from the list, then select the backup and where you want to restore the data. When the process is over, the folder status will change to the status it had on the date of the backup. If the Recycle Bin option is inactive on your device, if the backup schedule is not configured, if there is no access to the hard disks within the array, or if the RAID is damaged because your NAS is down, you can still have your files back as long as you use a data recovery tool. Instead, download, install and run Hetman RAID Recovery. It will rebuild the damaged RAID with the available hard disks so that you'll be able to retrieve the remaining data. To start the recovery process, take the drives out of the storage device and connect them directly to the motherboard of a Windows computer. If your motherboard lacks SATA ports to connect all the disks, or if you have a similar problem with power connectors, you can solve it by using special expansion cards and adapters. And you can see a few examples on the screen. When taking the hard disks out of the NAS, don't forget to mark them with numbers, so that you will put them back into your NAS in the same order they used to have. Also, you will need some space to save the data, and it should be of the same capacity as the data you are trying to recover. This program supports all popular file systems and RAID types. It doesn't matter if your Synology NAS uses a conventional RAID or a Synology hybrid RAID configuration, the recovery tool supports both types. The operating system may suggest initializing or formatting the hard disks for further use when they are connected to the computer. Never agree to that. Because if you do, there is a high risk of losing any remaining information, and it can make the recovery process much more complicated either. To have your files back, start disk analysis. Right-click on the volume and choose Open. After that, choose the scan type – fast scan or full analysis. If the NAS is down, but the program manages to rebuild the RAID correctly, a fast scan is enough. When the scan is over, open the folder where the lost files were stored. Previously deleted files are marked with the red cross. You can use the preview window to see the contents of all files, including videos and documents. Select all the items you want to recover and click the Recovery button. Choose the directory where you want to save the files, the disk and the folder, and click Recover again. When the recovery process is complete, you'll see all the files in the specified folder. To ensure more safety for working with damaged drives, this program has a feature to scan disk images instead of actual HDDs. This will reduce the disk load and extend the lifespan. 
summing up. If you have a backup at hand, you can easily recover accidentally deleted files. But if your storage device is down, there is Hetman RAID Recovery to help you. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments under this video to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.